Hello, it's nice to meet you. But can you tell me where I am? I don't know how I got here, but I think I'm starting to understand. Hey, sorry, but you just got in my way. I promise, Eddie, I can't feel your pain. I haven't been the same since I expired. Doesn't mean that I plan to retire. And now we have the power to bid all of you in entertaining fire. So you're my grandfather? Yep. I'm your grandpa. And I'm God. You're welcome. Yeah, no, I don't buy it. <laughs> All right, I, I get it. I get it. You were probably expecting somebody super tall, big bushy white beard, long white hair, and a white robe. I get it. You were expecting me to look like Santa Claus if he went to, like, a fucking to toga party or some shit, right? So, what is it that you're here for, Grandpa? I am here to congratulate you and to explain things to you. Because I feel like you deserve it, kiddo. You did something really impressive. Which would be... You have successfully rehabilitated someone, which was meant to have been... Ha I'm going to explain this. This was an explanation. I meant to say this to your father, but then he kind of revealed you, so now I had to tell it to you. Ah. Uh, hell was always meant to rehabilitate people. What? Yeah, go figure, right? Uh, you can blame me on that. I sent Adam to explain that to your dad, and honestly, that didn't really work out. Ugh. Shit happened. I don't want to get into it too much. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that I successfully rehabilitated someone? Yes, you did, my dear. And I'm not going to lie. Very, very ironic it had to have been a snake. Oh, you're kidding me. That motherfucker got rehabilitated? Did they have to just self-sacrifice themselves? <laughs> you have no idea, do you? Hey, listen here, ex-exorcist. I, I am God. I... No, I, I really don't fucking know. Not one bit. Well, uh, Alistair, this is my grandfather, uh, God, and Grandpa, this is Alistair, uh, my sort of uh, co-owner uh, and, and manager of the hotel. And you must be the big cheese of creation. It is quite an honor to meet you. And you must be Alistair the Radio Demon. It's a pleasure to meet you. So I see that my reputation must precede me in heaven. <laughs> well, you most certainly do have probably the biggest and longest list of sins ever done under your file up in my office. I gotta say, I'm kind of impressed. Ah, another lover of torturous entertainment, I take it. Well, I am historically known for causing plagues and floods and diseases and other things and killing kids in the form of some great plan, but yeah. I think you and I are going to get along swimmingly. You know, this is so nice to see you finally getting along with somebody entirely new, Alistair. You know what? I'm going to go make some tea. I'll be right back, and we'll continue having a delightful talk. That would be splendid, my dear. All right, you red chapstick-looking motherfucker. If you so much as even guide that bright, brimming light of pure hope, I will send you through an internal pit of suffering with my bare hands. <laughs> How funny. I was going to suggest the same thing to you. <laughs> Pleasure to make your acquaintance, Radio Demon. <laughs> the pleasure is all mine. Heavenly Father.
do you mean they're not here? I, I, I'm so sorry, uh, Mr. It is Sir Pinchus. I can take that kind of bullshit from God, but I will not take it from some twink at the doorstep. I, I don't know what to tell you. They're not on the list. They're not on the list. I, I, I don't see any sort of... I swear to you, they died with me. Where are my egg boys? They should be here with me, standing beside me at all times. I am not moving from this exact spot until I see my egg boys. Alistair, I have a question for you. Ah, Carmilla. I'm assuming this has to deal with where I've been for the past seven years. No, not at all. I'm still not interested. I'm just curious as to why it is that the Heavenly Father is with you here today. Ah, well, his granddaughter asked me to take him out, so I figured I'd let him come and see what it is that I do every once in a while, instead of just sitting around the hotel doing nothing. Ha <laughs> ha! This coming from the person who stands around smiling all the time. Ha <laughs> ha ha! This coming from the person who drinks wine and gossips with the patrons all day. Ah ha ha! This coming from the person who hasn't done shit around the fucking hotel until I showed up. Ah ha ha! Fuck you! Gentlemen, if you please... Please? No! Please. Get out of me! Leave me alone! Al? Get out of my head! Al? Al? <laughs> hmm? Uh, are you okay? <laughs> Hi, my dear! What would a scare you have given me? Of course I'm fine! Oh, of course! <laughs> no doubt of that! Is that I saw you muttering in delirious sand? Oh, sweetness! You should already know that these things are not strange to see in hell. Hmm, yeah. Well, darling, you came here for something, right? What can I do for you, my princess? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> we just organized and cleaned at the hotel. Everything is in its place and order, ready for the arrival of more patients. Magnificent. So... Well... I thought it would take us longer, but everyone collaborated, and we finished very quickly. All they went home, and Baggy had an emergency. I thought there was no one here, but I found you. <laughs> I guess we are just you and me. Oh, really? What an unfortunate soul. Yes, if I'm honest. I still don't want to go home, but how about we go to dinner? You choose the place. That I choose? Oh, I don't think you like my culinary preferences, honey. It is true. I forget that you are a cannibal. <laughs> well, that doesn't matter. I can ask for something else. After all, it is temporary. You will change. <laughs> what an adorable and innocent creature. <laughs> But no, not today. Eh? But, but... I remember that today I have a lot of work to do. Better to do it another day, my dear. Oh, please, Alistair. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Please? What do you want to achieve? Well, ah... Uh... Oh, no. I think... This is bad. Very bad. Alistair! Don't you dare! I can leave my responsibilities in the background. Thanks, Al! No! What are you doing to me? How did you get me to abandon my will and give in to your wishes? Uh, darling... Oh, sorry. I know you don't like it. Forgive me. It doesn't matter. Be careful next time. Sorry, Al. I'm very excited. The hotel is on a hot streak, and all thanks to you. I don't know what to say, despite the fact that this idea seems very ridiculous to you. You support me, and don't criticize me. It's the first time something worked for me, 
and I have the support of more than one person who does not repeat every second that I'm a disappointment. Thanks, really, when I'm with you, I feel like I can go against the world. That no matter how much they criticize or insult me, having you by my side makes me stronger and braver. It's strange, but sometimes I feel like I don't want to let you go. I constantly fight with my wishes, and the reason it is very strange. That's not normal, honey. Go to the doctor. Oh? Do you think? Yes, that sounds very severe. It must be mm, mental. Take care, darling. Psychopathy is not something that combines to you. Okay. She must go to her room for some things anyway. I can't let another awkward situation arise. So, are we on our way to your room? Yes. Thank you very much for joining me, Al. Hmm? What I told you before was serious, and I know this will very seriously and even uncomfortable for you, but... Can I... You can... I hug you. Oh, shit. She's crossing dangerous ground and making me nervous. Ah, uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. I love you very much. I think if it's her, it's not that bad. Ah, but what a beautiful little thing. Her hair is soft and silky. Her scent is mesmerizing. Her short stature, her slim and warm body, she is perfect. She has to be only mine! <laughs> I think if we continue like this, it will be very late. Wait here a moment. I'm going to take out my bag. I won't take long. Hab I guess I'll be taking a room for two. But, but, but you're only here, Alistair. <laughs> Alistair. <laughs> Son of a bitch!